Tucson will witness the end of an era tomorrow, the retirement of longtime Pima County Sheriff Clarence Dupnik. This morning, I sat down with the sheriff to talk about his time in office. He grew up in Bisbee, dreaming of playing Major League Baseball. But for Clarence Dupnik, that dream ended on a field at the U of A. And I just realized that I will never be as good as those guys. Instead, Dupnik found himself wearing a different uniform as a Tucson policeman. I never wanted to be a cop. He became a polygraph examiner with knowledge of his machine's limits. My point of view is that the polygraph is a sophisticated Ouija board, to be honest about it. Eventually, Dupnik was appointed sheriff and took over a situation at the Pima County Jail that he called abominable. During that time period, we had 16 escapes from our jail. And I used to say to myself, I think they're doing it on purpose because they don't want me to get elected. <laughs> but he was elected time and time again to deal with age-old problems such as immigration. In the last 15 years, uh, illegal immigration has uh, dropped to almost 80 percent in the last 15 years. But if you listen to the politicians and now the press, this is a huge, huge issue. Uh, and it makes me ill. Of course, it's not just people coming over the border. It's drugs. What drug has done the most damage, in your opinion? Methamphetamines, cocaine. People get addicted uh, almost the first time when they use methamphetamine and it becomes just a total, they, they lose their, the value system that they've had, and the only thing that they care about is getting meth. Yeah. And because that's not easily done in most cases, they resort to the crime. And more often than not, those crimes involve guns, which the sheriff believes are not properly controlled for a reason. This is all about money, in my opinion. And most of the money, I think, comes from the gun manufacturers who feed the NRA, who give it to the politicians who make the, who make the legal decisions. The sheriff makes a similar analogy when it comes to private prisons in Arizona. But yet, you see our, our governor and the legislature wanting to build more private prisons. That's asinine and absurd, if not irresponsible. But if you look at donations and who, which politicians they go to from the private private prisons, uh, you can understand why that happens. Never one to mince words, Dupnik also takes aim at the media. I blame Fox News for splitting society, and Ferguson is a perfect example of how, in my judgment, the media created that problem. Hands up, all over the, the world. And that was created by the media. They learned later that, that none of that was true. None of it. Dupnik says he doesn't know what it will feel like to leave all the contentiousness behind when he doesn't have to come to work on Monday, but he does have an idea. What I like to fantasize about is uh, going out on my front porch on a hillside in Southern California near the ocean and with a glass of wine in my hand and watch the sun go down. <laughs> But first, he and his wife are going to go to Italy, where she has relatives. Very nice. Can you believe he's been there for 35 years? A long time, yeah. and Chris Nanos will take over. Yeah. Guy, thank you for that.